I got how you guys doing? This is Mark. You don't know me. 52, 17 years off of retirement. Thought maybe I would retire this year. But because of COVID now, my hope, my all my plans have been put on hold and I'm trying to figure out what to do. MBA, University of San Francisco, Bachelor of Science from University of California, Davis. You know what that means right now? Nothing. You know, there's like 20, 15 million people out of work. You know, the most important thing people can do now, get attention. George, just think, who's, who's read 1984? Who's read the animal books? Uh, now all you have to do is just get attention, act the fool, get a whole bunch of people to look, get your money. That's it. Get attention, do something. Get people were arrested, get a view. Who would think that? If you think, look back, I was talking, Mickey, if you watched my video yesterday where I talked to you a little bit about the screening and the streaming wars about to take place. Well, the screaming, it's over. The streaming has won. What's so funny about it is the old Hollywood, when you had the giant studios, who's ever gone to Hollywood? Who, who knows where the Man Chinese Theater, the Egyptian Theater, the different pirate theaters, all those theaters, man. Those were like, the, the actors would bring the people in because they sell concessions, all kind of stuff, you know, movie rights and stuff. And they were charging, they were able to charge maybe $10 million, 50, almost, even $100 per film. Now, if you compare that to streaming, you're looking at maybe you may have a person on your staff getting $50,000 an episode, maybe. So maybe these so-called Disney ones right now, where Kevin Feige just said, hey, we're just going to do streaming. Our streaming videos on TV are going to be better than screen. He's lying to you. He's lying to you, man. All he's saying is, hey, now we don't have to pay the actors these hundreds of billions of dollars for the movies. So watch this so-called WandaVision and all these so-called shows. Watch. All of a sudden... Characters gonna change, staffs gonna all these. They're gonna start coming off with these off-brand comics, so they can start hiring unknowns and watch them gradually phase out the more popular ones or keep a couple around. So what does that mean? That just shows you a train a change from COVID. Not if you're an actor or actress now, your chances of making a hundred million dollars on a movie or five million dollars per film. Saying you're really talented. I'm a great character actor. Let me know. Subscribe, comment, like. Who knows what I'm talking about? Subscribe, comment, like. I know a lot of actresses and actresses. Basically, you're going to have to market yourself now. Because they can start. They can Now they're going to take all these shows and put them on TV. And then you could, you could just say for each episode, you have a 10 or 12 episode series for $50,000. That's a low end, maybe four hundred thousand, one point two million, as opposed to I'm paying Will Smith, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, a hundred million dollars a film. That's a big difference. You gotta see that runway you have, that um, flexibility. What that means now is if you're an actor or actress, now you got to sell your skills. You got to have a portfolio, but you're also going to show, hey, I can go out there and help you brand this. I'm a person who not only is an actor or actress, but Hey, I go out there, hey, I'll walk the street, I'll pass out the flyers, I'll talk to the people. What do you need me to do to sell the movie? So there's no more of the prima donna and the, this, the, the trailer. Oh, this person's going to help. Oh, it, it, it's done. As soon as one of us, if you watch my video, go back and watch my video. Who's watched my video? I told you how Wonder Woman and Warner killed the high-paid actor and the Hollywood Democrat. That's how all these Hollywood Democrats came about. They are getting paid some money for films, and then they say, hey, we want gay rights. We want trans rights. We want to be woke. Well, they get they woke now, huh? Kevin Feige and Warner woke their asses up now, saying, hey, you guys ain't making no more money now, and they're going to renegotiate their existing contracts, too. Watch that. I was if you watch Movie Web, it says, oh, we're going to go back and renegotiate our contracts regarding streaming versus screen. Watch all that start to happen. But what does that mean for you? That means for you, if you're an actor or actress, unless you want to keep working as a waiter, or maybe now you're not working as a waiter or actress, but you're working at Amazon or Prologis, and you, I'm, 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 I'm only packing boxes because I'm waiting on my big break. That's the now. If you don't want your big break, you gotta have to get the good break. That's why I have my programs. First big break you do. I know some of you went out and bought these fancy cars. I got my twenty seventy five, one twenty five, two hundred dollar programs to help you get these cars paid off. Just think if you get your car paid off earlier, 
take all that money that was directed toward the car. Now you got to aim it at your com your career, do some advertising. Like I want to start to have to do advertising, get training from sales experts, get your name out there, work on your sales skills, and just got to keep expanding. Who can you bring aboard? That's what you're going to do. It as an actor and actress right now, you are basically in business for yourself now. Hollywood's already told you, you current actors and you upcoming actors, you, you, you don't, you ain't, there's no more 100 million film thing that's done. So now you got to get ready. It's, scre it's the screening wars versus the streaming wars. I was listening to Tom Hanks. He's like, oh yeah, I knew it was coming when he's making 20 or 30 million dollar film. Now he's just selling out you current and new people. Oh yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I already have a whole bunch of money. So anything else I get from some streaming show, it's just going to be gravy, man. Him and who else? George Clooney and all these other guys. They sold you out, man. How do you actors and actresses feel? Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. Your, your, your people who made hundreds of millions on film just sold you down the river, man. How does that feel? What are you going to do going forward? You need a strategy, and that's why I'm there to help you, man. I want to be there. I want to show you this training. Grant Cardone, Brandon Dawson. I've taken some of their skills. Billionaire person with hundreds of millions of dollars in investments in storage, working with a business to help people grow their businesses. Take those skills and I'm going to show you how I condense them down and how we can use them to help you as an actor and an actress, help you do something. Hey, instead of working in that warehouse where you tell everybody you go get your big break, hey, let's just get you a job or a sales job where you know how to handle yourself, handle the customer, handle the emotion of the customer. I agree with you. Take those skills and use them for something else. Because now you're going to have to sell your, your, you're going to have to market your own business. There's no shortcuts now. So that's why I say going into the new year, make extra money. What is it? You want to be fat and broke going into 2021. So go out, you need to make yourself some extra money. And you also need to keep yourself in shape. So for you actors and actresses, I have a special $150 program, introductory program. We're running it. I want to get you guys into it. You can be my, my beta group. Take some of the best skills I have. <coughs> See if it even makes sense for you to use them. Because in 2021, the, the, it's, it's about it's, any of you who had dreams about making hundreds of million dollars as an actor or actress, it's done. It's over. Now you'll maybe make $10,000 per episode on a great show with good advertising. Or at the low end, make $500 on a 12-show deal. And that's $6,000. With a possible pickup renewal, they'll put you on, what, the Discovery Channel? If not, what, not that's even Discovery. That puts you on, what is it, True TV? You'll be on True TV. Your character actor on Law & Order or SUU. Put you, you'd be a victim or you'd be one of the criminals. So let me know what you actors and actresses think. Do you see the screaming and streaming wars? Streaming one. You know who lost? All you actors and actresses who spent thousands of dollars on the Screen Actor Guild things and all that. Now, if you want to work on the show, then, hey, then you can work on your show. But as for making millions of dollars on a big screen, how Hollywood was made, uh, it's over for you. So how does that feel? Well, let me know. Sub subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. I've really been thinking about that, man, because I was a part, I used to do actor, actor, actors stuff, and I know where all these studios and stuff in Disney. I can see the big studios going, content creation. You need the actors and actresses. But now if you're an actor and actresses, you got to make sure you sell yourself and get your name out there. So basically, you're going to be selling you might as well drop out the screen actor deals. That's done. You just waste the money because if there's no big screen, what are you paying for it? Maybe we'll set up a streaming union. Let me know. Should we set up a streaming union, which is basically being on TV? Let me know what you think. Give me some ideas on how I can help you. I have some strategies, but I wrote, one thing I do know is it's not looking good for you current actors and actresses. The world has changed. I want to help you make money. I don't want you guys to be working for free, man. If you're going to work free, work for free where you're pushing your name out there, getting energy, marketing a project you are, man. So let me know. Subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. Maybe it's a good thing because now you're in control. You don't worry about being having sex on the casting couches. All you women 
who are worried about all that. Well, now it's, it's done now. Cause now it's no even casting couch. It's just, hey, I want to pay you this $1,000 per series order unless you can show them, hey, I want to, you can pay me that. But let me show you how the shows that I've worked on, anything I've worked with, I've helped, my, helped them get out into the field. And I've helped produce and sell. And I say, hey, I like this person. Okay, so I'll give you a thousand dollars. I'll give you a two thousand or a fifteen hundred. The more money, the better. Then get you some referrals to shows. So let me know what you actors and actresses think. Streaming versus screening. Let me know, hey, what? Or some of you who are involved in the film and production industry. Let me know what you think. Do you, is what I'm telling the truth? Has Disney, when they said, oh, we're going to put all our Disney stuff on streaming. It's going to be better than putting in a big movie theaters. It's just a lie. It's a lie. It's just a way not paying you money. Warner Brothers putting their stuff on there. All it is, it's going to lower the price of the actors and actresses, lower the price of the directors. It's not good for you. It's good for the studios. Let me show you how you can take advantage of it. Subscribe, comment, like. Looking to get 100,000 subscribers. Let's do this, guy. 100,000 subscribers. Talk to you later.